Hello, today I am going to talk to you about how to create a mesh using the sweep method and also creating an inflation. This is something that some users experience to experience some problems when trying to do it because we need to change the, the workflow for creating inflation when the sweep method is enabled. Okay, then this is a simple uh, duct, right? Then just I am going to create here some name selections then let's start maybe this will be like inlet right and here this will be just an outlet right perfect then something here in the mesh I am a CFD engineer then I I am going to I change my fight physics preference to CFD and sub preference to fluent right then here let's start to doing the mesh then i'm going to select all the domain and i'm going to set the method and i'm going to change the method from automatic to sweep right i am not going to change the source and target selection i will let it as automatic right and i am going to put here like maybe 50 divisions right then let's mesh this and see what happened right then now we see here some cells were created then the 50 cells are in this direction right and probably this is what we want maybe 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 not okay then we can play with this let's see what happened if i try to include an inflation here then i select the geometry again then say okay let's include an inflation right and i'm going to select these walls as the walls Posing the inflation and if you see here there is a crux symbol that means that inflation cannot be created for this case and the reason is that we have a sweep method enabled then if we use this workflow for creating the inflation we we cannot create it uh, indeed then let's try to do something different then if we go back to sweep method then probably just say okay let's change this to manual source right and select the manual source like this right and the number of divisions is 50 and if you see i don't i don't have an uh, the check symbol for the inflation however let's generate the mesh right and now you see that the fifth div divisions is here Right, are here in this direction from here to here okay then now we change the direction of the divisions in, in the sweep method initially it was in this direction now it's in this but with both uh, directions and with both methodologies let's say with both options of source and target selection the inflation cannot be done then let's see how we can do for creating an inflation then when we have the sweep method enabled, then we need to change the workflow for creating inflation. Then in the geometry, we are not going to select the whole geometry. We are going to select the phase where we want the inflation to be created. Let's say if we want an inflation in these walls, this like here, then we need to select this phase. Cool. And in the boundary, we are going to select edges. Let's say this one, this one, this one, and this one. We click apply and you see that now the inflation option has a check symbol let's create the mesh and now we can see how we have an inflation okay we can reduce also the, the the size of the mesh without changing the number of divisions in this direction and for doing that what we can do is to create a, a volumetric sizing right then I just create this and I'm going to put this like a 1 e minus 3 maybe it can work we create again the mesh and we wait until it finish and we see that the inflation is still created and we will have 50 division in this direction and our size change in this 
okay then that's the way you can work with sweep method and inflation okay thank you very much for your attention and if you have any question please contact us in awesome thank you bye bye mm -hmm.